Hi guys, my name is Greena Jemsicle and today we're going to take a look at the 12 supposedly Halloween themed architect homes. Now just looking at an overview of these, some of them don't seem particularly scary or Halloween themed, however some of them really do. So I'm looking forward at going and taking a look at all of these. Here is the first house and it is not a Halloween themed, in fact it looks like the DIY homes house can be built on a standard size lot. Have we got anything rare in here? I don't think it looks like we have got a basement. So they've extended the basement. And oh, three pink beds down there. And let's go have a little look upstairs. I kind of wanted a load of Halloween houses. I am a little bit disappointed with this Sims Ray. It's like if you tell us that they're gonna be Halloween themed, Make them all Halloween themed. There's the first house. Second house can be built on a standard size lot as well. Ooh, I don't have this in my game. That's pretty awesome. I may build this house so I can get that because that's cool. Have we got anything else? That's the only reason that I generally build architect homes. I rarely build them because I like the style of the build. It's if they have rare items in there that I haven't got. Maybe I might, be, yeah, look at this, ooh. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna build this house because that has some things, oh, we've got another floor, I wasn't expecting that. This has some things that I want. We've got one of these record players as well that I think is SP. We've got another floor, oh, we have another floor. It's much larger than I thought it was. I am building that, this is a pretty good house. Here's the third house, it's still not a Halloween theme, but this is a premium size lot house. It's got a big pool in the back with this back garden. And what do we have, anything? Oh, we've got a little Christmas snow globe down there. Nothing really rare, nothing spooky. Oh, we have got actually a fish tank. You may want for that. A lot of the homes tend to have fish tanks though, to be honest, don't they? Uh, we've got a bar there. Is the armour worth having? I think maybe it's LP. These doors are SP, I think, like they're boat doors. And oh, that's it. That is the house. It's just one big donut shaped house. Here is the fourth house and our first Halloween theme, we have a Centennial replica that is a, a limited time prize from one of the quests. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong on this, or can we get the haunt, the Halloween items, the haunted type of items only when we complete the Ghost Hunters quest? I feel like that may be a thing. So if you haven't yet completed the Ghost Hunters quest, you maybe you want to build some of these houses to get some of the items already. But saying that, you may not, if you only just kind of started the game and you're quite new to the game and you haven't completed the Ghost Hunters, you've probably not got enough money to be buying these architect homes. But this has got a lot of haunted items in. The haunted pictures, I think, actually uh, sell for like, uh, you have to buy for one LP each. So potentially it might be worth building some of the houses for that. I think this ghost thing, weird green thing, is the prize from the Ghost Hunters quest, possibly. This is just a little house, so yeah, you may want to build it. Here's the fifth house, not Halloween themed, but what do we have? It is a big house, so on a premium size lot, and nothing really that's sort of, oh, we have a basement that we can't get to, or is nothing really? Nothing look, nothing is kind of jumping out at me as something that I you know, personally I'm missing in the game or would like to have that I haven't got. I mean, if you didn't do the spa event, there's some spa furniture there, but that's kind of all, really. Let's have a little look at it. There we go, that's what it looks like. The sixth house, and this is not a Halloween house again, but we have got quite a bit of sci-fi furniture, and I really actually do like the sci-fi furniture, but I don't really use it because it's not available for simoleons, so I may build this house just to get a couple more sci-fi items that I can use. In fact, this was a sci-fi house, wasn't it? Because that is the computer room. This is just the sci-fi house, is it? It's a long time since I've seen the pre-built houses but I feel like it, it's kind of maybe adapted a little bit. What have we got upstairs? Oh, we have got a skeleton. 
light there. So that's the only haunted aspect to this house. Here's the seventh house and this. Oh, I thought it was going to be a spooky haunted house. But I don't think it is after all. I mean, it has got a few items. So the kitchen is the haunted stuff. And... Ooh, we've got a lift there. That's a fancy lift. We've got a wedding arbor. Okay, let's uh, let's go and have a little look upstairs. I like that lift actually. Is it because just because it's been done like the wallpaper has got the uh, the like the panels, the wood panels. It looks pretty cool. This is like this has not been decorated hardly. This house. Um, I mean, if you like it, you know, there's nothing really in this house. If I'm honest. Oh, hang on, upstairs. We have got a few haunted items. So it's kind of a haunted house, kind of not really a haunted house. There's so much space, so much space in this house and not much furniture at all. I like the look of it from the outside, but I'd feel like it's not maybe been, you know, into the best ability decoration wise inside. But I do like that, that build, it's quite cool. Here's the eighth house and this is a spooky house. In fact, this is, oh, I may build this because we got a campfire and I didn't win the campfires. So I'm always on the hunt for getting new ones. Oh, we also have a black piano here. This is quite a cool house actually. Lots of spooky stuff. Oh, it started flashing. And let's have a look. Oh, and lots of party stuff upstairs. That, then, yeah, I may, I may actually build this because I, oh, has it got monkey? Oh, yes, it's got the fire monkeys, the light, they are 15 LP possibly to buy. And yeah, so I may, I think I'm going to build this to get those. I really like them as like little ornament things. They're, I don't know, I don't know why I like them. Like they're kind of odd looking to be honest, but they look cool. Like you can turn them on and like the fire monkeys like fire up. The ninth house, and we've lost a kind of Halloween spooky theme at the moment. But this is built on a teen mansion lot, so this is pretty cool. And oh, we have some fireworks at the front, so maybe if you haven't got those fireworks, you may want to build this. It's pretty cool. Uh, it's got a fish tank there. We have a little nutcracker out here. Get ready for Christmas. Get yourself a little nutcracker. I can't actually believe that those words have just come out of my mouth. It's still October, Sarah. That was ridiculous. And, you know, upstairs is... It kind of just looks like the teen mansion. I'm not that familiar with the teen mansion, to be honest. But, yeah, kind of looks like the teen mansion. There's nothing... Nothing too rare or anything. It is just the teen mansion, really, isn't it? With a few added little extras. The tenth house is not Halloween, as you can see, and ooh, there seems to be a lot going on in this house. I don't notice anything. There's a bit of spa furniture there at the back. Oh, I kind of like this design there. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I like that. Kind of unique. Something I've not really seen before. Let's go ahead and take a little look upstairs. Whoa, there kind of like is a lot going on. There's a lot of these doors and windows that you might want. They're SP. Bit of sci-fi stuff. I like this little room here. I love these sofas, these purple and grey ones. One of my favourites. Okay. Oh, we have one of these computers. If you watch these videos, you know these gaming dual screen computers are my favourite. Like them. Possibly this is a contender to be built, to be honest. It's got a big huge lion decoration at the front. I, yeah, this potentially... Ooh, I was just going to say, potentially get built, but now I've seen these, definitely it will get built. I've been seeing these like lounges and these fountain things in a lot of people's builds. I'm like, oh my goodness, and I think somebody mentioned to me, told me that they were available for real money back in like June or something. And I was like, damn, I missed that. I would definitely, well, I say definitely, it would probably depend on how much they cost, but I really do like the style of that furniture. So yeah, I'm building that house purely for them really i mean and the lion is kind of just a bonus and the computer is just a bonus penultimate house and we have a scary one it's been built on a premium halloween lot so we have this pool at the back that is you get when you build the normal haunted house within the game let's have a little look let's in fact let's just have a look at the design of the whole house so it's two story lots of pumpkins lots of scary scarecrows around 
it's got one of those computers, so that is really good. I kind of like the feel of this build. Yeah, there's so much furniture. Wow, let's go ahead and take a little look down in the basement. Oh, the basement is... I was expecting like this huge, grand basement, to be honest. But this is pretty cool down here. Actually, I really like it. Nice, simple kind of little spell place where the person who lives here can come down and practice their spells and things. And then if we go upstairs, it's really quite difficult to see, isn't it, when these haunted items are flashing, so I do apologise for that. But, you know, there's nothing I can do about it. Oh, it stopped. That's good. We've got another one of those ghost thingamabobs. Oh, we've got these. Are these available in the game, or were these something that's just come out at Halloween? You can't get them all year round, this Halloween table. It's pretty cool. I feel like I had loads of them, maybe last Halloween. I don't know, they're pretty weird looking, right? But it's a cool, it's a cool thing for to celebrate Halloween with. I like it. Um, and that is the house, I think. Kind of, yeah, that is it. Here's the last house. It has been built on a spooky premium lot. So you've got the graveyard down at the bottom. We also have a hearse with this, which is really cool. Let's take a look what we have. Let's see the house overall first off. It's three stories. Quite a big house. Let's go right, so down onto the basement and uh, obviously, you know, there is a lot of these the spooky items that are flashing away there. It's so hard to see, isn't it? We've got a dining room here. I mean, it's fairly standard. It's, it's a nice build though. Oh, we've got some smoke machines there. That's a good idea to use for kind of your ghost house uh, Halloween themed thing. Halloween themed house to put the party smoke machines that's pretty cool i like that idea not something i've seen before and then upstairs kind of standard uh, bathroom bedroom red black sort of feeling everywhere let's go up again and oh wow very open plan we get uh, oh this is a nice big room look at that lots of the fireplaces a nice uh, black piano, nice seating area, little library with these cool bookshelves. I love those so much. So sort of Halloween-y, spooky theme appropriate, aren't they? Pretty cool. I like this house. I mean, it's nothing, it's not, not got anything really rare or anything or whatever, but it's still pretty cool. How much is the hearse, actually? And where do we get the hearse? I don't actually know. Somebody let us know down in the comments how we do get the hearse. And so there you go. There is a look at our 12 new architect homes. Not very Halloween inspired, to be honest. I'm slightly disappointed that they were not all Halloween themed. I wonder why Sims Free Play does that. Like it says, these are going to be certain themed. Maybe they just don't get enough people in putting, uh, putting their houses forward for the architect homes. I have no idea but there they are let me know down in the comments if you will be building any there's certainly one or two there that i am going to be building let me know down in the comments what you are doing for halloween do you kind of go all out for it and like loads of decorations and do you just not do you not really get involved in it i'd like to know what you are doing down below in the comments so thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys soon for a new video bye